and welcome back reefers uh today today's um video is going to be a little bit different uh than what i usually do um today we're going to talk about something that uh uh i've been struggling with myself as far as my tank is concerned and that's actually taking pictures of it um traditionally and uh, what i usually use to take pictures of my tank is actually this guy um regular pair of uh, safety glasses they call them coral viewing glasses yellow lens and uh, what I typically do with this guy is hold it in front of my iPhone like this and take my videos through it and that usually works pretty good um, that's pretty much what all my videos to date have been uh, taken through uh, the other item that I picked up on Amazon is this guy and what this is is actually a lens with a slight gradient on it um, it's an orange to a clear gradient and the concept here is that you stick this guy over your iPhone lens and then you adjust it as necessary to make sure that the blue is filtered out now the part that actually does the filtering is this orange part here this orange part right here uh, so technically what I would do is I would tend to move that orange part up as far up on the lens as I could to try and avoid, um, you know, getting too much of that clear part in. And it, it kind of works. It kind of works in a, in a pinch. Um, not the best solution though. There is a version 2 of this lens and the version 2 of this lens um, actually is about 30 bucks and you can get it online at quite a few different places. Um, and I haven't tried that lens. All I've ever tried is this one. So we're going to take a product that I picked up on Amazon uh, a few days ago. It was really cheap, uh, by reefing standards at least. Um, 27 bucks um, shipped Amazon Prime to my place. And uh, we're going to take a look at that now. So here we have a product um, that is made for a traditional DSLR camera. Uh, it was shipped in this... Uh, you know fairly tiny box <laughs> you can actually see the size there it's about 11 inches by 11 inches uh, it's a pretty pretty small box here uh, let's take a look inside and see what we get so in that box you actually quite get quite a bit of stuff um, all uh, ready to go uh, for you of course we have a bunch of cleaning cloths here some uh, cleaning wipes that's pretty cool. We have the actual uh, acrylic lenses themselves. Um, then you have the adapter. Now this part here will screw on to this guy. This slips into right here, clips on. And then this guy with the uh, threaded ends will go onto your, um, onto your camera holding the lens in front of it. Uh, here I kind of set one up already. Of what it's supposed to look like so what you would do is you'd slide this clip in thread it in towards your lens um, slide in your acrylic uh, piece right here and the acrylic piece will actually uh, be what what filters out the light for you and uh, what these guys are, are actually um, lens uh, hoods so these go over the acrylic piece to make sure that light doesn't get in to the um, into the lens and possibly distort the image um, uh, will I be using these I don't know maybe um, the nice thing about it it comes with two of them um, two of these guys so you can have one of your holders set up with the hood and one set up without the hood I thought that was a pretty cool feature and at 27 bucks you really can't beat it um, it also comes with an adapter for quite a few different lens sizes. Uh, I think the biggest one is up to 82 millimeter lenses. Uh, you can have up to 82 millimeters. Uh, my lens, the kit lens, is a 52. That's the one I'm going to be using uh, with the following lenses. Now, it does come with quite a few different uh, lenses um, and I think that's both cool and kind of a hassle I wish I could just buy the ones that I was interested in but it's nice to have them all uh, you have 
a bunch of different lenses here that do some pretty cool effects uh, for you. Purple. And the idea with these lenses, for those of you who may, may not know, is um, by rotating them around when you're shooting landscape and, and um, when you're shooting landscape photography or whatever your subject matter is, um, if you think of this line as the horizon, this will apply the filter side to the sky portion of it. Or if you turn it around, it'll provide it to the, to the bottom portion of it. Or if you turn it to the side, it'll provide it to, you know, left side, right side, um, so on and so forth. So it's pretty cool to play around with this if you like to do landscape photography. I haven't tried these outside myself yet. Uh, the ones that I'm prim primarily concerning myself with, though, are the ones that were made for uh, filtering out most of that blue that we get, which is the yellow, which, funny enough, matches my yellow safety glasses that I've been using for the longest time. Um, the orange, which is the one that I have installed right now, okay, um, the orange gradient, which pretty much matches this guy right here, you know, um, well, I, I probably won't be using this one very much, um, or this for any more for that matter. I think the one, two that I'm going to end up using the most are the yellow and orange, depending on which one works best for me. Um, one other thing to, that this kit comes with is a fancy little case. And uh, I like this little case because it's pretty cool. I can see myself losing these filters very easily if I don't have them put someplace really uh, safe. So, probably won't even open up these other guys. But they just slide right in there. So you can kind of take them on your journey wherever you're going. And it does come with a full set of all the solid colors, the primary solid colors. Uh, I just don't think I'm going to be using them for my particular application. And like I said, I might try them out, but uh, I'm not a photographer by trade. I know very little about photography in general. So I only know what I see my peers have done. There's a nice little pinkish red. Uh, I only know what my peers have done and what I have seen on the interwebs. So I plan to apply, employ all of those uh, skills to uh, try to take some photos of my tank. Um, in the next clip, we're gonna probably show some photos and video that I took with the um, with these filters uh, on my camera itself. So we're gonna head downstairs and take some pictures of the reef. So, 
some uh, pretty cool results downstairs. Uh, I'll, I'll add in those other clips that I took. Sorry for the shaky camera. Didn't take, in, take the uh, camera off the tripod. It just kind of winged it down there. Um, this guy was a giant failure. Um, all this ended up doing here was actually uh, causing the entire tank to turn red and as a result it was um, it was actually not not that great for for taking video um, maybe some cool red effects for you know some other purpose but this guy here was a giant failure so I didn't try all of them but the clear winner for just straight clarity was actually yellow safety glass colored yellow now I know that there is an orange one in here maybe a solid orange that I didn't find that it stuck together to something else but I'm gonna try that one at a later time and probably post some photos uh, of what it looks like on my Instagram um, in the uh, meantime though uh, this was a fun little experiment I look forward to getting some really cool macro shots um, now when I'm taking video I'm probably not going to use this camera to take videos of my reef uh, it only shoots in 1080p but um, I did find out that holding this up to my phone which is pretty nice or to my GoPro results in the same the same uh, end result is, a, is, is good 4k video without all that blue glow inside of it so uh, with that I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of wrap this up um, gonna, I have, I'll have some videos up uh, and some pictures up of uh, some really cool macro shots um, of a couple of my corals um, and a new video of the tank coming up soon um, I hope you guys if you do invest in this end up having some really good opportunities to shoot your tanks and, and shoot videos of your tank uh, I know it's not for everybody at the entry point of buying one of these for about 30 bucks you can get an entire kit like this for $27 shipped and be able to use it with your nice big DSLR camera versus just your cell phone so there, there's a lot to be said about buying a simple inexpensive kit like this for someone in our hobby um, not necessarily the best in the world I know some folks make these out of glass these are obviously acrylic and there's some things I don't like about the kit you know this is kind of tough sometimes to uh, remove when it's outside uh, when it's attached to your camera and you know to avoid damaging your camera lens you really want to unscrew it but um, you know with just pulling these back just a little bit like that you can kind of slip them out pretty easy without having any problems so that's you know pull them back slip out and it, and, and it works pretty well the threads on here are pretty nice they attach to my Nikon camera really really easily so I didn't have any problems with getting this attached the lens hood attach as well when it's on or off the camera I'm shooting in a pretty dark room for the most part so I didn't find much use for this guy uh, so I didn't put it on uh, something cool to be said though is that you can stack these guys together to make a bigger lens lens hood okay this is just a nice little hood uh, you can stack them together um, alternatively what I would like to do or what I will do most of the time is if I'm trying out multiple different um, lenses uh, multiple different uh, filters I'll probably just load up the two filters that I'm trying inside of the lens holders the filter holders themselves and swap them on and off by just uh, pressing down this little tab and sliding off sliding them off the ring and then attaching them back to my camera it's pretty cool so uh, with that said thank you guys for watching this video um, I continue to learn more and more about making videos and um, hopefully these are getting a lot better but um, I'll see you guys on the next time please like and subscribe for more cool videos like this you guys have a good one